All right, so I got some people in here. Sweet. I will. Uh, I'll go over the list for the teams, and then uh, and then we'll run through all the stuff we got going on tonight. All right. So uh, Darren has uh, Chicago Cubs, Marlins, Mets, Cardinals, and Rays. Nathan R has the Brewers, Athletics, Padres. Uh, Michael G has the Pirates and the Giants. Uh, Dane S has. No, the Tigers and the Royals. Johnny C has both the LA teams, Angels and the Dodgers. Nicholas B has uh, the Phillies and the Rangers. Eric has uh, the Diamondbacks. Robin has the Braves. Alvin has the Orioles. Uh, William has the Red Sox. Jason O has the White Sox. Jamie has the Reds. Uh, Dan S has the Indians, oh, the Guardians. Um, Phil has the Rockies. Simon has the Astros. Jeffrey has the Twins. Michael has the Yankees. George has uh, George M has the Mariners. Thomas S has the Blue Jays, and Andrea H has the Nationals. Um, so a couple of order of businesses. Uh, first off, uh, Bowman Trivia. Oh, sweet. Thanks uh, Thanks for joining, Darren. Uh, good luck to you. Got a whole bunch of teams, so hopefully we hit you something. Um, so first order of business is we're back with uh, with our Bowman trivia. Um, I got seven questions, seven packs in the, uh, in the top Series 2 blaster. Uh, so for every correct answer, um, I will add a, a pack out of here to your order. Um, so, so we got that. Um, and for the giveaway, um, Katie, welcome. Um, Sonia, yes, I was going to do, um, the 2022 last. I was going to go, um, 21, and then I was going to do the two 22 blasters, um, and then the second 21 hobby, and then the two 20, uh, 20 blasters, and then the 22 hobby last. Dan, welcome. Um, so for the uh, so for the giveaway, uh, we want to show a little appreciation to you guys uh, for supporting us uh, as we get this thing rolling. So we got a uh, Khalil Watson Mega Base um, C, uh, SCG10. Um, so we're going to randomize that through the, for the teams. Um, since uh, since we just got 30 teams, I got uh, my deck here of all 30 uh, MLB teams. I'll shuffle it, ask for a number, um, and then I'll uh, I'll draw a team. So just to show that all 30 teams are in there. So uh, let me angle my camera down a little bit to get that get the cards in view. All right, first number I see on the comments is the card I pull. Thirteen, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen to the Marlins. Cleo Watson to the Marlins, how about that? What's the chances? All right. So Cleo Watson's going to Darren. What a what a first uh, break with us, huh? So uh, Darren gets the uh, the SGC Cleo Watson. Um, and so uh, without further ado, we will start with the uh, with the break. I'm just going to move uh, some of these boxes to the side. Give ourselves a little room.
All right, so uh, for the trivia, Uh, for the trivia, we're just gonna. I just got seven questions. I'll just go down the board. Uh, I'll ask one, um, p- kind of periodically, and we'll we'll go from there. Uh, by the time I get to the next question, if nobody's answered it, um, then we'll just move on, and that one gets skipped. I made these ones a lot easier than last time because I got some complaints that my uh, my trivia was a little a little difficult. I'm like a history buff when it comes to baseball, so. Um, all right, so for the first question, between 1991 and 2005, which MLB team made the playoffs 14 consecutive times, an MLB postseason record? Braves, yep. Going to Nate first pack. Uh, yeah, so the Braves went uh, went 14 straight times. They made it to the World Series five times, but yet they only won one World Series during that time. Empty box. won twice yes they won the world series twice um and they've actually funny enough they've only been to the uh postseason in general uh three times so they went three times and won two of them it's pretty uh pretty good odds for the marlins i guess Seattle's team this year, man. I, uh, I'm kind of excited to, to see what they end up doing. I was looking at the uh, I was looking at the uh, the standings earlier, the playoff bracket, and now it escapes me. I, I think they're playing Cleveland. If I don't, uh, I hope I have that right. Into this first stack. Oh, I think you're right. I think it is the Jays. Uh, Taylor Trammell uh, for the Mariners, top 100. We got a couple of upside down cards. Uh, Simon Woods Richardson. Ronnie Mauricio and Antonio Gomes on the Chromes. We've got a Bobby Witt um, on the Chrome and a Matt Manning on the Chrome. All these Chromes are upside down. Nate Pearson, rookie card. Oh, 
Hunter Green on the Chrome, and Alec Manoa on the Chrome. Yeah, let me angle this up a little bit. There we go. Tyler Callahan and Josiah Gray on the Chromes. Vidal Brujan, top 100. Francisco Alvarez and a Wander Franco Chrome. I was at the uh, the Red Sox um, uh, Rays game on Monday, and uh, Wander hit that that home run in the first, and it was an absolute bomb. Uh, Futurist Reed Detmers, Bryce Tiering, uh, and then yeah, later on he showed his speed. He got all the way to third uh, on the triple. It was absolutely incredible to watch. Not as a Red Sox fan, so that, that was kind of lame. Uh, Rookie of the Year favorites, Evan White. You got a Patrick Bailey uh, on the Chrome and a Cade Cav uh, Cavalli on the Chrome. Right-handed, yeah. Uh, we got a uh, talent pipeline for the Rockies. Heston uh, Kirschstad, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'll be honest. And a George Kirby on the Chromes. Wow, that's a big hit. That's awesome, man. Marco Luciano, a futurist. Austin Wells. And Helio Ramos on the uh, Chromes. Nick Lodel, top 100. We got a Nick Gonzalez Chrome and a Luis Garcia Chrome. No color yet. Emerson Hancock. And Christopher Morell on the Chromes. And give us some color. Got a Joey Bart, uh, Rookie of the Year favorites. These uh, these Rookie of the Year favorites this year looked really cool. I gotta say. Oh wow, you pulled out of a blaster too. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Grayson Rodriguez and Nick Allen on the Chromes. Oh, we got a little bit of color back here, I think. Looks like some purple. First for the Mets, Andy Rodriguez, 201 out of 250 for the Mets. Mets going to Darren. Darren hitting tonight. First break with us, and he is... Getting it. All right, there's our auto. Now we're just looking for some sweet color. I'm going to go for the, uh, as I'm ripping these, I'm going to go for the second uh, trivia question. So, uh, so everybody listen up. In the era of boom or bust, 
Many players are looking for the long ball or a strikeout. One player holds the record for most home runs and strikeouts in the World in World Series history. Who is that player? Holds the record for most home runs in World Series history, not just in one, just in his World Series career. Um, he has the most home runs and the most strikeouts all time in the World Series. Not Reggie Jackson's. It's a hell of a guess, though. It is not Reggie Jackson. It is not Yogi. Mickey Mantle. That's it. He has 18 home runs uh, lifetime in the World Series and 54 strikeouts. All right, off the bat, we got a Luis Castillo, uh, Paper Sky Blue, uh, 478 out of 499 for the Reds. Jonathan India, and we got a Marco Luciano Atomic for the Giants. Yeah, the other day I went on a uh, on an absolute Mickey Mantle Wikipedia deep dive. Um, it's been way too long looking up random stuff about Mickey Mantle. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, he was absolutely incredible for sure. Cody Bellinger. Bobby Miller. And Roberto Pisano, Pisan, and Yasnil Diaz on the Chromes. Emerson Hancock, position promise. Taylor Tremel and a Shane Baz Chrome. Yeah, they were um, they were a lot, and actually er, uh, early on in Mickey Mantle's career, the New York media said that he struck out too much. Uh, Edward Cabrera, Shane Lag uh, Langoliers, and Carson Tucker. And if you look it up, there's actually a quote from uh, from Mickey Mantle himself uh, that said something about, um, you know, I had uh, I played 18 years, I uh, I had 10,000 at bats and uh, 3,000 strikeouts or something like that. And he said, if you if you do the math, an average player has 500 um, 500 at bats a year. So I spent five years not hitting a single thing. 
Uh, top 100, Nick Gonzalez to the Pirates. Alec Thomas and uh, Junior Severino on the Chromes. Still no color aside from that auto and that uh, sky blue paper. Nick Bisco and Jared Kelly on the Chromes. We got a Joey Bart rookie card. Nate Pearson, rookie of the year favorites. Max Meyer and Yolbert Sanchez on the Chromes. Bobby Witt Jr., Futurist. Oh, we got some color now. Vidal Brujan on the uh, Chrome. And behind him, we got a blue shimmer. Not a first for the A's. Logan Davidson. 144 out of 150. A's going to Nathan. There you go, Nate. Sweet looking card. I will forever stand by my position that the blue parallel is the best looking one. Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. Brennan Davis top 100. Adley Rutschman. And Kevin Alcantara on the Chromes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we got some green color back here. CJ Abrams, Futurist. Jordan Walker, Chrome. Behind him, we got another non first for the White Sox. Andrew Vaughn, the green. Uh, what's that? Mini Diamond, I think that one's called, right? We got 55 out of 99. Man, I miss Little League, Little League Baseball. I had so much fun back then. Not that I don't have a ton of fun now, but Little League Baseball, man, there's something something about it. Wander Franco on the uh, 91. Bo Naylor and Casey Martin on the Chromes. Joe Adele rookie card. Key Brian Hayes rookie card. Talent Pipeline for the A's. Brennan Davis and Tristan Casas on the Chromes. All right, so we got a little bit of color. Nothing, uh, nothing too exciting. Just, just getting started, I guess. Just making a little room over here in my stack piles. All right, let's get into the. 22 blasters. I uh, I would love to get into um, coaching like high school football. I think that's uh, that's where I could I would be a better coach than than baseball. 
empty box. But I guess when you're coaching a bunch of seven-year-olds, it's kind of just telling them to run this way instead of that way, right? Empty box. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. For the next uh, trivia question, um, this one might be a li tad bit harder than the last two. Um, who is the only pitcher to start four consecutive World Series Game 1s? Only pitcher in MLB history to start four consecutive World Series Game 1s. Whitey Ford. There it is. Nate is absolutely killing it. Might just be sending him the whole blaster at this rate. Yeah, Whitey Ford. Uh, and he actually did it twice. He, uh, he started Game 1 in the World Series in uh, 95, 96, 97, or excuse me, 56, uh, 55, 56, 57, and 58. And then he did it again in, uh, in 61 through 64. So he, he started four consecutive Game 1s um, twice. Only person to ever do it even once. Got a Joe Ryan Rookie of the Year favorites. Peyton Willis on the first, and uh, Luis Gonzalez on the first chromes. Sal Freelich Vibrations. Alvin Guzman and Benny Montgomery on the chromes. Uh, Carlos Colmenzeras uh, on the uh, top 100. Jordan Walker and Simon Muziati on the chromes. All right, here's the rest of that first blaster. We got a Wander rookie card. Uh, Salinas and Colton Kowser on the chromes. CJ Abrams, High Five Futures. Ian Lewis and Carlos Aguayo on the chrome firsts. Shane Baz, Bone in 3D. And a Paguero top 100.
Junior San Quentin and Marcelo Mayer on the Chromes. So no hits in that blaster. That's a bummer. Uh, we got uh, Hernandez on the Chrome. Wander, Rookie of the Year favorites. Uh, Bailey and Quintero on the Chromes. Another Sal Freelich Vibrations. Jonathan Clausé and Maximo Acosta on the Chromes. We've got a, a Neil Cruz rookie card. A Relvis Martinez top 100. Junior Sanchez and Braylon Minier on the Chrome Firsts. Um, anything for the Angels or Dodgers yet? Um, no. Not yet. Luis Verdugo and Harry Ford on the Chromes. Bobby Witt Jr. High Five Futures. Michael Triana and Isaac Pacheco on the Chromes. Henry Davis, Bowman in 3D. And Hedbert Perez, top 100. And a Jordan Walker refractor at a 499. 422 at a 499 going to the Redbirds. Let's see, and the Redbirds are going to Darren. It's another hit for Darren. Right. Let's get into this next box of uh, of 22. I got uh, I got somebody trying to join the group. So one second, I'm gonna I'm gonna invite them in. Oh, some I guess uh, Keith got it for me. I got a couple of messages on eBay. I get people are trying, having a hard time finding the group. All right. Yeah, for some reason, uh, eBay blocks my link uh, for the Facebook group um, in my descriptions, uh, which is a little frustrating. Um, so I think from now on, I think I might, uh, as soon as somebody pays, I might just message them the, the link to make it a little easier. I have the, the name of the group, but I, I some people have told me that, you know, because our group's still pretty small, they... Uh, it doesn't show up in their search.
All right. Next. Uh, next. Um, trivia question. I wonder if anybody else is actually playing other than Nate. Okay. Oh well. I guess Nate will get them all if nobody else is paying attention. But, anyways. All right. So the next question. With a uh, with a plus three twenty nine run dif- differential, I guess that that number is before today's game. I don't know what what they have now, but um, with a run differential of three twenty nine, the Dodgers have the highest run differential since pre World War Two. On the flip side, one team has won the World Series with a negative run differential during the regular season. Who was that? I'll take. Uh, I'll take just the team. Um, I'll give you. I'll give you. Oh well. Okay, Nate got it. <laughs> the '87 Twins. They uh, they finished with a negative 20, um, negative 20 run differential in the regular season, and they went on to to win the World Series that year. Um, for anybody keeping score, I think there was only a total of. I think it's 10 teams. Uh, to ever actually make make it past the wild card round, I believe is what I saw, um, with a negative um, run differential in the regular season. This season there was zero to make it. Still searching for some more color. We've got a couple of non-first colors, uh, and then we got that Andy Rodriguez uh, auto out of 250 for the Mets. Good looking card for Darren. go into these uh, into these weird uh, Wikipedia rabbit holes I'll uh, I'll be sitting there I'll think of one random baseball nugget that I'm curious about I'll look it up and then uh, from there I'll spend the next uh, I don't know hour and a half digging around on either Wikipedia or baseball reference uh, see something that something else that catches my eye I'll go look at that for a while and then from there it'll lead me somewhere else next thing you know I'm uh, I'm 12 players removed, and uh, you know I'm looking at uh, what Yogi Berra's uh, favorite batting uh, routine was, or something you know, like something super weird. And I'm like, wow, how did I end up here?
right. All right, Dylan Carlson, Rookie of the Year favorites for the Redbirds. JJ Belady uh, and Yasnel Diaz on the Chromes. Talent Pipeline for the Pirates. Brett Beatty and Jack, uh, Jackson Rutledge on the Chromes. O'Neill Cruz, top 100. Trevor Larnack and Carson Tucker on the Chromes. Yeah, baseball reference is, uh, is very useful when you're trying to track trades. I love baseball reference. I spend far too much time on it. Uh, Nick Lodeau and Jeter Downs. Tanner Houck rookie card. Joey Bart, 91 rookie card. Jeremy Pena and Cade Cavalli on the Chromes. Oh, all right. Jeremy Wu Yelland on the auto. That is a very nice looking auto, I gotta say. Uh, never heard of this guy, but uh, that is a great looking auto uh, going to the Red Sox. Red Sox going to William H. You gotta say that is a uh, that is a good looking auto. Tyler Swordstrom and uh, Geraldo Perdero on the Chromes. Brandon Marsh, top 100. Uh, Blake Walston and Luis Garcia on the Chromes. Futurist, Mick Abel. And Gunnar Henderson. And then we got a pink back here. First. For the Padres. Ismail Menya. Nina. We got uh, 177 out of 199. Padres going to Nathan. Neat. Shay Langelier, top one hundred. Sabato and Antonio Gomez on the Chrome Firsts. There's an Austin Martin. I know you were calling for an Austin Martin earlier. We got a Chrome First Austin Martin. Uh, Toglia and Daniel Lynch on the other two Chromes. Joe Adele, Rookie of the Year favorites. Andrew Dahlquist and Alec Manoa on the Chromes. <laughs> All right. 
I got I got my paper uh, with all the teams on it, and I just use whatever names on eBay. So I, when I read it, I just see the name on those on eBay. Uh, Futurist Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. Jaron Durant and Clayton Beater on the Chromes. All right, let's get some more color going. Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. We got some uh, green paper. If I can get them unstuck from each other, it is a Max Scherzer, two eleven out of three ninety nine. Going to the Nationals. With Scherzer's cousin, that's pretty cool. Uh, Daniel Espino, and right behind him we got an atomic for the Reds. Nick Lodo, Lodolo. You got any signed merch? Since you hang, you play softball with his cousin. I had a Max Scherzer question in the last uh, in the last trivia we did. Jared. Uh, Kalinick, Garrett Mitchell, and Jackson Cower on the Chromes. Position Promise, Andrew Vaughn, Austin Hendrick, and uh, Braden Shoemake on the Chromes. Josh Jung, top 100. Nolan Jones uh, on the Chrome. Evan, uh, Kevin Alcantara on the Chrome. Ryan uh, Valady and Alexander Ramirez on the Chromes. And we got another sky blue. Sky blue paper for the uh, White Sox. James Beard, number 65 out of 499. To the White Sox. White Sox are going to Jason O. Here you go, Jason. Evan White, Rookie of the Year favorites. Royce Lewis on the Chrome and uh, Severino on the Chrome. Hayden Kirsted on the uh, Futurist. Andrew Vaughn on the Chrome and Nick York on the Chrome. We got a Nick Madrigal top 100. This is, I've talked about this before. It drives me nuts. The uh, the top 100 prospects list has rookie cards. Uh, are they a rookie or are they still a prospect? I don't get it. Uh, Oswald uh, Peraza and Paguero on the Crones. Ronald Acuna Jr., 91. Jordan Westberg and Nick Allen on the Chromes. 
We got Blaze Jordan first, paper. We got Talent Pipeline for the Twins. Gabriel Arias and Zach Veen on the Chromes. Another Cabrian Hayes rookie card. Andres Jimenez, another uh, prospect rookie. Asa Lacy and a Wander Franco in the Chromes. Nick Gonzalez, Futurist. Uh, Nova and Waters on the Chromes. Alright, and that is it for the 2021. Not a whole lot of color. A couple of, couple of okay colors. And then we have those, uh, those two auto firsts. Should make it some more room. Alright, let's uh let's get to these twenty twenty blasters. All right, so for the next uh for the next um trivia question we got uh, what was the first team to play in four consecutive World Series? Empty box. First team to play in four consecutive World Series. Not the A's. It is not the Cubs. Red Sox. It is not the Red Sox. I'll be honest, that was my guess uh, before I knew the answer. That would have been my guess. But it was not the Red Sox. Not the Yankees. That is a good guess because they have been to 40 of them. Um, but it is not the Yankees. And yes, the Yankees have been to 40 World Series, which is absurd. Darren got it. Giants. They went to uh, the World Series in 90, uh, 1921 to 1924. They uh, they won the first two in 21 and 22, and then they uh, then they lost the second two. I can't remember who who they played in them all, but they went four times. Four times straight. That's going to drive me bonkers if 
if anybody wants to hook a homie up and uh, and let me know who they played in those four World Series, I'd be forever grateful. That's what I'm talking about. I'll I'll uh I'll just think of something random and then I'll have to look it up. But I'm busy. No time for baseball reference for me right now. Trying to get you guys some hits. Nineteen nineteen was the the Black Sox and the Reds. Yep. These blasters. Nate Pearson, top one hundred. Grayson Rodriguez on the chrome. And Cody Hoyce on the chrome. Alex Bohm with the Phillies. Matt Manning on the Chrome. And uh, Bryce Turang on the Chrome. Nick Bennett and Marco Luciano on the Chromes. A Bobby Bradley uh, rookie card and a Nico Horner rookie card. We got a uh, talent pipeline for the Royals. Gunnar Henderson and Owen Miller on the Chromes. Austin Nola rookie card. Randy Arroz Rain with the, uh, the Cardinals rookie card. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Gavin Lux rookie card. Some good rookies in this in this box. This product in general, I guess. Tenor Houck and uh, Clark Schmidt on the Chromes. Dylan Cease, rookie card. Oh, that's cool. Rookie of the Year favorites, uh, Brendan McKay. Jackson Rutledge, first paper. Jordan uh, Bolzevic and Josh Jung on the Chromes. All right. No hit in that first blaster of 2020. Hopefully we get something good in this next one. Nick Lodolo, top 100. Gunnar Henderson on the Chrome. And he stuck to somebody behind him. Jordan Adams. Seth Brown, rookie card. Robel Garcia, rookie card. CJ Abrams on the 91. Owen Miller on the chrome. And Tanner Houck on the chrome. Talent pipeline for the Orioles. It's a good group of guys right there. Diaz, Mountcastle, and Rushman. Future of that franchise.
Clark Schmidt on the chrome. And behind him, we got Grayson Rodriguez on the chrome. Luis Roberts rookie card. It's a good one. Going to the White Sox. And we got some uh, some green color back here. Looks like a sparkle. There we go. Jason Dominguez on the chrome first to the Yankees. Yankees going to Michael R. Jason. And uh, Jordan Balzovic on the other chrome first. All right, got a green shimmer. Not a first for the Rangers. Leody Traveris. 23 out of 99. Let's see. The Rangers are going to Nick B. Jesus Lazardo, Rookie of the Year favorites. Helio Ramos and uh, Traveris on the Chromes. All right, not too much heat yet. Let's get this going. We need some good stuff out of this uh, out of this 2022. Jeez, I went to an October game the other day at Fenway, and it was, uh, I think it got down to like 47 degrees. All right, I got two questions left. I'm going to ask the first one now and then uh, somewhere in the middle of ripping. I'm sure you guys will get that this one pretty quick. Uh, and then I'll ask the second one. So for the next trivia question, uh, of the 30 major, of the current 30 Major League Baseball teams, uh, six teams have never won a World Series. Only one of those teams has never been to the World Series. Who is that one team? This one's probably a little easier. Mariners, you got it. They've uh, they've been to the playoffs four times. Uh, they've lost in the ALDS once and lost in the ALCS three times. Once to the uh, Indians, twice to the Yankees, and uh, and their their first time they lost to the AL or in the ALDS they lost to uh, to the Orioles. It wasn't their first time in the playoffs, but oh, Mike, sorry. I'm uh so I was born and raised in California, so I grew up a Giants fan. 
Uh, and then my wife is an absolute diehard Red Sox fan. So when we uh, when we started dating, I you know, I moved to New Hampshire um, in high school, and uh, when we started dating, I'd buy her Red Sox tickets to impress her. Um, and now I'm I'm kind of hooked. So, but I always tell her if it's ever if it's ever Giants versus Red Sox. Uh, I'm a Giants fan all day, but um, so I've had I've had great fortune uh, over the last yeah uh, I've had I've had great fortune over the last uh, you know decade and some change. My first uh, my first Red Sox game ever was actually uh, game two of the 2013 ALDS, so it was cool to, to be there during that World Series run. I watched Poppy hit two bombs that day. I was a... It got me hook, line, sinker. I was a David Ortiz fan ever since. <laughs> so, live in New Jersey and you're a Mariners fan. Is it because of Griffey, or you got some kind of outside factors playing playing a part in that? Mark Langston, all right. The blue, the blue glove is pretty cool. Um, I really liked um, Eduardo Rodriguez. And this is obviously a lot more recent, but uh, I don't know if he still does it with the Tigers. But uh, when he was with the, with the Sox, he had that bright red glove. That was that was pretty sweet looking. Last couple of packs. Uh, so I got one more question. This is another softball. So hopefully, uh, hopefully people are paying attention. And get real quick on the fingers. Who pitched the only no hitter in World Series history? Who pitched the only no-hitter in World Series history? Larson. That's it. Don Larson. And it was actually um, a perfect game. Uh, sixth perfect game in MLB history. Um, so, Nate. Yep, Nate uh, got that one. So, Nate, did you get all but one of those? I should have written this down. I did this the last time. I had to scroll back through the comments to see who got them all. Yeah, I'll look later.
Yeah. So, uh, Sonya got one. I'll have to look back later. Um, actually, on that, that Mariner's question, Nate got it first, right above you, Sonya. There was one earlier. I know somebody else got one. That's what it was. Darren, uh, Darren got the, uh, the four consecutive World Series. All right. This, uh, this 2022 is starting out stronger. I can already see some color back here. Artiega, Chrome first, and sticking to him. Got a first for the Indians, Jose Pastrano, uh, 97 out of 125 on the Aqua. True Aqua going to Dan S. With the Indians, Guardians, Guardians. Still not used to it. I don't know if I'll ever get used to it, to be completely honest. Oof, Christian Roa. 445 at a 499 on the auto. To the Reds. Reds going to Jamie. Too high. Wasn't ready for that one yet. It snuck up on me. Quintana and Luciano on the chromes. Bryce Turing, top 100. James Wood on the first. And Trey Sweeney on the first. Garrett Mitchell on the Invicta. Definitely not the Reds Auto you were looking for. Orelvis Martinez and CJ Abrams on the on the Chromes. Castro, Rookie of the Year favorites. Joshua Baez and Roberto Dominguez on the Chrome firsts. Austin Martin in the Chrome. Blaze Jordan on the Vibrations. Henry Davis and Khalil Watson on the Chrome firsts. Well, Henry Davis is not a first, but on the Chromes. Marte, High, tie, high Five Futures. Colson Montgomery. And Marte on the Chromes. Pedro Leon, High Five Futures. Uh, 
uh, Andrew Lara and Julio Rodriguez on the Chromes. Jordan Walker in Vibrations. Garcia and Bobby Witt Jr. on the Chromes. Looking for a little more color here. Gunnar Henderson, top 100. Roberto Campos on the firsts. And Lorenzo on the first. Drew Waters, top 100. Luca Tresch. The first and to the Rangers, Luis and Hill Acuna. J Rod card is a good looking card. You are not wrong about that, my friend. In our last Bowman break, I pulled a color of his. I don't remember what it was now off the top of my head. Uh, Pedro Pineda. Uh, but it was a good looking one, that's for sure. Amador on the uh, Chrome. Luis Matos and Max Muncie on the Chromes. Gabriel Arias, top 100. Sorry, I got one guy trying to get into the group. Just going to approve him real quick. All right. Michael Triana and Isaac Pacheco on the chromes. Benjamin Bailey and Alvin, uh, Kevin Alcantara. Alcantara. What am I doing? Brady House Vibrations. Rainier Quintero and Jonathan Clase on the Chrome Firsts. Oh, that's awesome. It's awesome to get your kids into it. There's a Wander rookie. Jordan Lawler, High Five Futures. Luis Verdugo on the Chrome first. Nick Gonzalez on the other Chrome. Benny Montgomery, High Five Futures. Victor Lazarga and Heberto, uh, Heberto Hernandez on the Chromes. Reed Detmer, Rookie of the Year favorites. Diego Cartea and Emmanuel Rodriguez on the Chromes. Braylon, uh, Braylon Minner and Diego Velasquez on the Chrome Firsts. Top 100, Gabriel Moreno. Jose Rodriguez and Nori Verga, Vera on the Chrome Firsts. Cespedes. Bowman in 3D. There he is, Jackson Cheerio on the uh, first for the Brewers. Adley Rutschman on the other Chrome. Uh, 
O'Neill Cruz, Rookie of the Year favorites. Uh, Desner Guzman and Alejandro Pai on the first. Man, not a whole lot of color in these boxes today. We got a, a green paper here. And it is another Max Scherzer. Two different years. Max Scherzer, uh, 395 out of 399. Junior Sanchez, Maximo Acosta on the Chromes. And uh, Jordan Balavochik on the uh, top 100. And that is it. I'll do a quick recap once I get these uh, once I get these colors, or these car couple of cards sleeved up. I appreciate it. Uh, everybody's showing up. Not the best break that we've had. Um, but it's baseball, and it's better than. Uh, than that basketball one we did. Sorry, all the basketball fans. Uh, I stumbled right through that. Not a big prism guy, so I didn't. I uh, wasn't super familiar with it. But I know basketball guys really like basketball, so I did it. Let's see. Alright, so for the paper, we got a Luis Castillo Sky Blue, a Max Scherzer uh, from 21 uh, green paper. We got a, a James Beard uh, Sky Blue, and we got a Max Scherzer from 22 green paper. Yeah, you win some, you lose some, right? We got uh, on the Atomics, we got Marco Luciano, Nick Lodolo, and uh, Acuna. We got Traveris, uh Green Shimmer. We got uh, Ismail Minia on the pink out of 199. We got a, a Refractor, Jordan Walker, Andrew Vaughn, uh, the uh, mini diamond, green mini diamond. Logan Davidson for the A's out of 150. And we got a Pastrano out of 125 True Aqua. For the autos, we got uh, Andy Rodriguez, purple out of 250 going to the Mets. Jeremy Wu Yelland uh, going to the Red Sox. Sweet auto. Um, and Christian Roa. Uh, out of 4.99, going to the Reds, and then we have the uh, the S, uh, SCG, SGC 10 Cleo Watson Mojo, uh, and that was going to Darren with the Marlins. He pulled the Marlins uh, at the random card pull at the beginning. Uh, so that is it. Um, we will. Let you guys know uh, as soon as we figure out our next break. We haven't quite made a plan yet, uh, but we'll let you know soon. Uh, probably coming back with some more Bowman. Um, and then in a couple weeks, uh, Bowman Sterling drops. Um, so if you guys are interested in Bowman Sterling, I think we're going to grab a couple of boxes of that. Um, five autos a box, so that's uh, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good hitting odds. Um, so uh, with, that, with all that being said, uh, I'll get these sorted out, and uh, I will have these shipped out today's Wednesday. Um, by Saturday at the latest, I'm going to try and have them done uh, for Friday. I just got a busy couple of days at work. Um, but I'll try and have them out uh, by Friday, Saturday at the absolute latest. 
um thank you guys thank you for supporting um and we'll see you guys hopefully uh hopefully next week all right thanks guys